G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel, and today I've received some mail, I got this mail a couple of days ago now, I've been hanging on to it, and uh, yeah I'm going to open it up and see what we got, I know it's from Shane, Shane is from Victoria in Australia, and he lives on the edge of the the gold, what they call the golden triangle. It's um, I'll put, a, I'll put a map up to show you where it is in Victoria, in uh, Australia. It's a an area where a lot of gold has been found, has been found, and still found today. So, thank you very much, Shane. I appreciate it, mate. You've got some mail heading your way too, Shane. Anyway, let's have a look. See what Shane sent me. It's a bit windy today, guys. I hope. Um, I hope this audio is okay. Right here, yeah, let's have a look. See what goodies Shane sent me. Okay, he's put, put it in the... Oh yeah, okay. A little note for me. Okay. Shane's written, Hello Biggest Kev, I hope you find lots of gold in the sand and you might find some other things of interest. P.S. I would like a piece of black and white polished quartz. Black and white polished quartz. Oh, okay, I'll see what I can do. Uh, if that's okay, yeah, that's fine, no worries. Cheers, Kev. Golden Triangle, Victoria. Okay. Well, that's cool. Shane? Okay, guys, there it is. That's the material that Shane sent me. So, next, I'll set up my panning station, and we'll pan it out, and we'll see how much gold we get. Might be a couple of ounces. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, we'll put Shane's material through a sieve. I've got my tea strainer here. Shake that, make sure I've got all the golds out. Okay, through the tea strainer. Oh, I saw something. <laughs> Five cents? You could have at least put an old sixpence or something in there. It's giving me five cents, guys. Five cents. Thanks, Shane. What? Oh, that, that's... This is a different coin. This is a different coin. I don't know what this is. Ten. Ten cents, I suppose. It's a... Um, Okay, I haven't got my reading glasses on, I can't read it. It looks cool anyway. I'll um I'll put pictures up. Oh, he's put a bullet shell in there. A little 22 short. Right. Get get all this sieved out. It's another coin. Another coin, guys. That's another one from the overseas one. I'll put um, pictures up so you can see them. Thanks, Shane. Another coin. That one's Australian one cent. Australian one cent. Another one. dollar coins um, an old rivet there's a stone a piece of stone there I don't know what that is but all this oversize I'll run through the pan as well I'll pan all this oversize out and um, you need 
never know, there might be a big nugget in amongst all this oversize. That's a cool idea, Shane, putting all those coins and stuff in there, mate. Yeah. You'll have to tell me, do you go out um, fossicking for old coins and stuff? Because I've got heaps of old coins, pennies and threepences, sixpences, shillings, uh, the old two bobs. I've got all that sort of stuff from when I used to go hunting for, for coins and relics. Maybe I can send you some of those, mate. Yeah. Okay, there's me oversize. Rightio. I'll just set this up over here. I'll get back to you. I've got to put some uh, some detergent in the water. Okay, here we go, guys. Shane's uh, material from the golden triangle that he sent me. It's going to be really interesting to see how much gold's in this. Cool. I think this is the um, this is the first lot of dirt I've had from the Golden Triangle. I have had material from some rivers in Victoria and New South Wales, but I think this is the first dirt that I've had from the Golden Triangle. Cool. Maybe I can send Shane some material from the Hit and Miss Creek. And uh, stay tuned guys because I've got another couple of those atlases on Western Australian minerals. I've got two more atlases I'm going to give away to a couple of you guys. So uh, just stay tuned to the end of the show and I'll explain how you can go about winning one. I can see gold in the pan. I can see gold in the pan already, guys, and there's a lot of it. There's a lot of gold there. There's a lot. Hey, Shane, you didn't do a very good job, mate. You left a heap of gold behind. Mate, if you get any more of this dirt that you don't want, send it my way. <laughs> Rightio. Let's have a look, eh? Let's have a look at all this gold. It's all, um, gee, there's some real fine stuff in there. It's all coming back up on, on the lip of the pan. There's all fine specks up on the lip of the pan. I can see them. Okay, guys. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a heap of gold there. I can see it all. Look at it all. Can you see that gold, guys? And up on the lip, on the top of the lip here, there's all specks of gold up there. It's just all sitting up there. Got it all washed up. Yeah. Now, my, my guesses on gold are pretty hopeless, as you guys know, but, gee, I'd say, oh, there's got to be somewhere between half, half a gram to a gram, I reckon. What do you reckon? Look at all that gold just sitting there. That's heaps. Thank you very much, Shane. Mate. Welcome to the club, Shane. Okay. I think you guys can see all that. You can see all that gold up in here. I don't have to point at it. You can see it. What I'll do is I'll clean it all up, I'll snuff it up, I'll, and uh, I'll put it in the pan, take photos. Yeah. Cool. Rightio, I'll see you at the wrap-up, guys. Okay. There it is, guys. There's all the gold. I'll take a, a photo, and I'll put a photo up of it. And um, I'll dry it out, and I'll weigh it and see how much we got. Okay, guys. I'll see you at the wrap-up. Just before we go to the wrap-up, I forgot, I better um, pan the oversize. I better show you that. Yeah, you probably said said to me, maybe I heard you, come on Kev, the oversize. Rightio, let's have a look, see if Shane's left any, any big nuggets in here for me. Maybe there's a couple of sapphires or something. 
the gemstones are heavy, so they'll sit in the pan with the gold. The gold and the black sand and all that sort of stuff. There's a shotgun pallet. Right there, guys. Shotgun. Looks like one of those um, double SG pallet, yeah, from the old hunting days. I think I can see some more lead. Be a couple of shotgun pallets in here. Yeah, I can see another pallet. There we are, another shoddy pallet. So you're in the right spot. Um, well, obviously you're in the right spot because you've got all this gold. But um, yeah, you've got all the heavies, wherever you got this material from. I can see a nugget, guys. <laughs> I can see a nugget. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's more than one. Oh. <laughs> hey, guys. There's a couple of big pieces of gold in here. Check this out. Check this out. I hope you can see. Look at all the gold. A couple of bits there floating back. Another piece there. And um, all the material that I've washed out, I'm keeping it, guys. Um, because I've got to redo it all, always do. I've always got to redo it because um, I'm going to miss gold, I'm going to wash gold back, so I, I know I am. So you always repaint it. Oh yeah, there's all the gold there. Check that out, guys. Lucky I remembered to, um, to pan this stuff out, otherwise you would have missed out on the show. There's another piece just here. On my finger. Yeah, probably some more in here. I'll repan this, this oversize. But um, yeah, check that out, guys. Is that cool or what? I'll add that to the uh, to the rest of the gold. And that'll go in the way up. Okay, I'll see you at the wrap up this time. Okay, thank you very much, Shane. I I appreciate that, mate. Um, you and and all the guys, all the guys out there that are sending me material. Uh, whether it's rocks or rocks to crush and pan or pay dirt like um, Shane just sent me. Yeah, I, I really appreciate it and uh, it gives me material to make videos and show all you people out there um, about gold from Australia. Yeah, um, cool. Thank you very much again. Appreciate it. I know I'm going over myself. Yeah. Um, the rocks. Now you said you wanted a piece of a piece of quartz, white with the black. Now this is the stuff that Greg and Michelle brought back from um, Leonora. This is the white. That's sort of a white quartz with the black in it. I'm guessing this is what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'll send you this piece of rock, mate. Yeah. And also, I've got some blue quartz, mate. I've got some blue quartz, um, where's a better, yeah that's probably better, I'll put some pictures up, I might do it better justice, but that's blue quartz, I'll send you a piece of blue quartz as well, um, as a thank you, yeah, now, the atlas, the West Australian atlas of mineral deposits, I've got a couple more to give away guys, I've already sent one, I've sent one off to Shane, I've sent one to Gavin, I've sent one to Jeff, and I've given one to Greg and Michelle, uh, oh, and Loz, I've sent one off to Loz, rightio, I've got two more, two more I'm going to give away, so if you want one, all you got to do is leave a comment, guys, I'll just give you a look inside, I'll just open, oh, open up a random page where there's a lot of, there we are. I hope you can see that. Uh, it's not really out. It's not really in the sun. There, just gives you an idea what it is. But basically, 
all those little yellow triangles, they're all the um, gold deposits and it's got different coloured um, your blue squares, I think that's iron, it, all different stuff, um, different materials, yeah, all the minerals anyway, gold, silver, lead, uranium, um, your gemstones, it's all marked in there on the atlas, it's got all the, all the roads and everything on the map, yeah, as you'd find in an atlas. So, um, yeah, I'm giving away two of them. So, leave a comment and set this up again. Yeah, just leave a comment, guys, and uh, I'll pick two of yous out and I'll send you each one of these atlases. Yeah, cool. And uh, thanks for the coins, too, Shane, mate. Yeah, I'll. Um, I'll go through them and I'll take some still shots of them up a bit closer so you guys can see what they are. I don't even know where they're from myself yet, except for the Australian ones, the, the one cent ones. Yeah. Uh, and the five cent one. Mm. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. I think I've, I've covered everything. Yeah. I'll put some pictures up and I'll weigh that gold and I'll show you how much it, uh, it weighs. I reckon it's got to be close to a gram. Yeah. Thank you very much, Shane. That's cool, mate. Uh, that's it, I think, guys. Yeah, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching my videos and subscribing. Take care, be good, and I'll see you on the next one. The next video will be uh, I'll do some more of of um, Greg and Michelle's material. Yeah. Okay, guys. Bye for now. Okay, that's how much gold we got. There we are, 0.77 of a gram. Thank you very much, Shane.